cold is like a brick wall. It stops everything, uh, even on a molecular level. Day 15, and I don't know, it's about 35, 40 below right now. It's really cold. Mallory said, because it's there. But today I'm not so sure that I would agree. The world has long been explored and mapped, so maybe better is to say, because it might not be there in the future. And that's my reason. That's the purpose behind the Save the Poles expedition. And this really whacked out plan. Go to the South Pole, North Pole, and the top of Everest all in one year. Something that no one had ever done before. I don't know, it seemed like a good idea at the time. Why? Why do this? Why the cold? Life is hard. Hard enough. Why make it even harder? You're gonna freeze your ass off, and when you get back, if you get back, then what will you have? Ah, I just don't feel good about this. I'm not most guys, actually. I can't talk sports. I don't drink Red Bull. I'm not at Vister's or Chris Sharma. I'm a little nervous right now. I'm actually a lot nervous. I've had a lot of bad ideas in my life, but at some point I realized this one must surely be the worst. We have a very tenuous grip on a very small margin of safety. And at any given moment, it could slip so quickly. The coldest, windiest, driest place on the planet, it's, uh, it's extreme. Most of the time you can't even have any exposed skin because it will free solid in just a matter of minutes. It may be cool to be cold, but I would really like to be warm right now. Skiing, snowshoeing, and at times swimming on moving ice, and ice so thin that it bends underneath your skis. There's open water too. Massive pressure ridges, extreme cold, and then, you know, polar bears. I would like to say that everything is running smoothly and we're all getting along and everything is great, but that's not the case. There's also one other thing you should know. This story, my story, it's a pretty low budget deal. And when you see three of us skiing through a scene, that's me skiing up ahead, setting up the camera, skiing back, skiing through the scene, and then going back to pick up the camera. Pain in the ass. I'm so incredibly cold right now. I am just chilled to the bone. My feet are warm. For me, the crux, where there are so many things that can go wrong despite your best efforts, weather, altitude, 200 some people have died trying to climb Everest. Looking at that and knowing that we have to pick our way through all the cracked and fractured ice and pinnacles um, makes my stomach turn and knots a little bit. To make matters worse, we would climb in the fall when no one else climbs and the weather is worse and it's getting colder and not warmer like the spring and there's more snow and the avalanche danger is higher. And it was just me and a few Sherpas on the entire mountain, that's it. And then you're there and you're done. So what happens when you dream a dream and then live it? Is that the end? Go home? Be normal? I wish it was that easy. Now there's nothing left to do but dream bigger, crazier, harder, and colder. And hopefully still have my girlfriend when I get back. <laughs>